Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You're watching Adam's Garage 88. Alright guys, today we're going to be tackling the brakes. Finally decided to put these things on, so we're going to get to them. I've already decided to put one set on just to see how everything went. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I like the way it sits. It's all direct bolt-on replacement. So you don't have to worry about trying to modify anything. I did, however, have to make one bracket just because I didn't like the way the hard, the braided hard line here was just flopping in the back. So I made one more bracket right here just to hold it. But it is nice and solid. Everything looks good. You use the factory bolts. It already comes with the adapter bracket to mount these big boys on. 15 inch rotors, drilled rotors. So I like the way they look. They really sit nice. And the factory 19 inch wheels sit right over everything. So it's really solid and nice. These are actually probably gonna stop a lot better than what they used to have. So I'm really pleased with that, especially with what I wanna do with the engine. I'm definitely gonna need it to stop a lot faster. So let's get this thing tackled. Let's start on the other side here. I'm gonna show you how to put these brakes on. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I've already taken off some of the stuff here. I took off the caliper and the caliper running bracket, the older ones. I went ahead and took all that off and the flex line to go with it. So I've got everything ready to go on that. It's real simple. You know, it's not something I need to show or explain how to do. You know, if you're modifying cars, then obviously you should know how to take a brake caliper off. But I do need to get the rotor off. I've got the assembly screw right here for the assembly purposes when they came down the assembly lines. They had a, a screw holding the rotor on. I'll take that off. I am going to reuse that for the new ones just so I hold it in place because it does come with that hole slot so you can put that in. Now I have uh, studs instead of uh, for lug nuts instead of lug studs. I actually put this on there because I like the way it fits. It's a little more tighter and it allows me to use different style wheels and spacers if I wanted to on the... Um, which I currently am running right now. I got spaces right now for this, for my wheels, just so I can set them out far enough. But it allows me to use that. And they're a lot stronger. And I can use whatever lug nuts that I want to use in a different color, whatever style. So that's why I have these on. I have to, do have to take them off to get the rotor off. So once I get all that done, put that back on and get the uh, new rotor on, I'll be good to go. Now, you do not have to reuse the old uh, mounting bolts you know these boys right here because the heads on these typically strip off at least on mine they did it does come with new ones and I recommend using the new ones if you ever get this kit I'll try to uh, link the the description of where I got these from in the comment section if you want to get some which I'm sure y'all do but these are all aluminum it does come with a mounting bracket right here which you just take these two bolts off it slides right off and you've got these bolts right here to put onto the bracket itself. Now, on the other side, I noticed that I had to do a little bit of clearancing. I did not clearance here. Instead, I clearanced on my ears on the uh, mounting surface on the uh, spindle. So I just clearanced it down a little bit, especially this bottom one because where they had the uh, molding cast, it had a little bit of a burr on top of it, so I had to shave that down. And once I shaved it down, this thing fit in really nice and really well. So once I got that taken care of, it was a breeze putting it on. But we're going to work on that. We're going to get that taken care of. Make sure everything's fitting good. Put the new rotor on. Get it all lined up. And then put the heart, the uh, flex line, which is right here. It comes with everything. It's all direct bolt, plug and play. No uh, modifications necessary. You can add that bracket like I did on the other side. But uh, it's not necessary to do. It does come with its own brackets and everything that you can use and just find a place to put it. So that's what we're going to do and uh, we're going to get to it.
got the uh, my lug my studs back in. I've got the assembly screw back in to hold everything in place. Everything worked out great. I didn't have to actually sand this one down like I did the other side. I'm guessing it's just a, a difference in manufacturing from the, the factory. So I lucked out on that. I didn't have to deal with that. It just bolted right up just like it's supposed to. So you may have to do that with yours. It may not. It all depends on how it was made and the manufacturing process. The other side was like that. This side wasn't. So it's 50-50 uh, with me. Uh, hopefully the back side will be just as easy as it's supposed to be, theoretically. So we've got the line to put in. Like I said, I've already got the flex line off of the original. This literally bolts, screws right in place of the original spot. You have a set washer right there, or set bolt, I'm sorry. The nut to put right here. It goes right in place. It does come with washers, so you can put in there. You didn't actually need them but because it fits just perfectly but you can put that in there and then it just um, attaches right here there's a little spot behind this right in the center of the caliper that this side goes to it does have a brand new banjo bolt and two crush washers to go in there so it supplies everything that you need and it just comes right through here or even uses the factory um, brake line bracket right here and that's what this is for so it's really nice construction dark colored braided stainless steel line coated so it's uh, not going to have shape or anything like that it's good stainless steel uh, ends as you can see so it's really stout quality hardware to go with these uh, big brakes here so we're going to hook these up and then we're going to go to the back everything in I gotta get make that bracket for it on this side like I did on the other side but everything else is in as you can see looking pretty good get the bracket in or get the uh, hard line flex line in Ugh, sorry to speak it's getting late but I got the flex line in got the caliper bolted on the rotors in place studs are in I got everything else uh, painted so I keep the rust off of it for the most part because that's about the only way you're going to keep rust off if you paint it. But I got that done. Get the line in, like I said. I'm going to get all the other ones in. And then we'll bleed the brakes out. I've got some quality synthetic brake fluid I'm going to put in this thing. Get it all ready to go. So everything's looking good. It's bolting up correctly. No problems, no issues. So we're going to get to the back side and take care of it then. And then we'll check it out and make sure it's all working. So till next time. Hey guys, it's another day. Finished up the brakes on the X5 here on Ruby. I got the back brakes on. As you can see, got everything all ready to go. Went ahead and put everything together on both sides, so front and rear is done. So I don't need to do anything else. It was real simple. It was easy to do. Just the same as the front, all bolt in, ready to go. No need for adjustment. It's just, I guess it was just a fluke that I had to adjust that one, but on these I didn't have to do anything. Except for I did have to cut out the brake dust shield. I didn't need to, I couldn't unbolt it because of the emergency brakes. So I had to chop it off. And it's pretty much just all you're left with right there. So you had to cut that out. And then once that was removed, everything fit right in place and it bolted right up. So as you can see here, everything looks pretty good. It's all bolting in nice and great solid really good addition to the car As you can see i have my adjustable camber and tow arms aftermarket got those special order for, ordered from russia so everything looks great now i'll be able to fully adjust this thing i've got brakes to, to match everything else so we're good to go here the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get back on the uh 
um, speaker enclosure, get that thing taken care of. I just want to go ahead and get these brakes on, get that done and out of the way. But now we're going to get back on that, finish up the the uh, rear trunks is set up and everything. So we're going to get all that taken care of. And then we'll move on to other projects on this car. So stay tuned till the next time.